I probably think, oh, who's that doofus talking to his camera? But here I am, lo and behold. What's up everyone, I'm Cameron King. I'm a filmmaker, a business owner, and a dad of three. I'm on a mission to grow a creative business all while maintaining my mental health and raising a healthy family. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through the public launch of an app called cpa to go which was created right here in my hometown of Shreveport, Louisiana. Let's get into it. This is Homegrown, launching an app edition. Town right now and just just wanted to get some footage of the downtown area really just kind of I haven't really walked down here in a long time so to get some coffee and stuff like that but there are some very beautiful old buildings down here and it kind of reminds me of you know when I've lived in downtown settings like in DC and my wife lived in New York and things like that and uh, yeah I mean if you can just look right behind me you've got the old Strand Theater right down there yeah a lot of stuff for sale and I'm tempted to like just look into it and just try to get something for myself and make like a downtown apartment or something like that. I think that'd be pretty sweet. However, there's not that many accommodations down here except for a coffee shop and a movie theater, which are both nice and there's some other places to eat. It'd be great if we could build up a little bit more. I think it'd be cool to have a downtown loft with some beautiful brickwork behind it. But it really is a great looking downtown area and I hope and pray and wish that they would you know we get some people in the area to do some more with it you know you know we just need a few bold individuals to really invest and if anybody knows anybody who wants any help making videos for their investors let me know we can make this thing happen now, this past weekend a buddy of mine was back in town and his father just passed away and you guys know may not know my father passed away about four years ago so this past weekend, you know, he's like my best friend growing up and everything. And we had a, you know, a really strong childhood together. Uh, actually, late childhood, teenage years, we were best friends, inseparable. Anyway, his dad was definitely a big part of my teenage years. He would drive us to concerts. We'd go to like, you know, all these heavy metal concerts. I went and saw Metallica with them, Slayer, Pantera, Down, all these all these 90s metal bands you know like heavy metal bands like we were into that stuff that was kind of the thing that we did i'm just going to turn around here right now and uh... so you know talking to him you can tell he's going through some of the the shock and emotions of it all i remember going through all that too whenever my dad passed away and um <clears throat> anyway just after we talked and hung out man i was in a funk for about two days i still am kind of feeling it a little bit just sad morose i'm not sure if that's the right word just melancholia you know extreme just yeah just sadness it's been good to me kind of just to get away sometimes you just gotta sort of process things and that's what i've been doing the last couple days just trying to walk and do things like that and this morning i just got finished with a shoot so i'm feeling a little bit better i'm not sure where i was getting at with that but you see you see this beautiful bill heading behind me it's so cool Man, just put a, put a freaking loft up there, man. That'd be legit. I'm gonna go all cliche here, but you know, life's too short and here we are about to launch this app. I'm about to really push up, you know, the other side of the business, like moving beyond just freelance work and really start an agency, get into branding and content creation and things like that and it was kind of just you know just i just been feeling this push lately you know to really just go in head first and like don't half-ass it and just knock it out you know really start pushing really start lead generating really start creating more content like this and really just going for it and no 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 holding back you know because I want to just create this awesome place for people to work right here in the Shreveport area that's creative, that does remarkable work, things that's memorable, things that delight customers and clients, 
and really just, just make an impact in this area from a branding, marketing, content creation standpoint. I want to put, you know, this place on the map because I think the people here deserve it. I don't work crazy hard. I work hard enough. Like I do good work and then I'm off when I'm off mostly. And I still think about work all the time, but uh, you know, just really start taking it up a notch and serving the people of this area and doing cool, cool stuff, man. I'm looking forward to that. So it just, this whole thing and with his death has really got me thinking about the next stage in life and where to take it.